All right, people, welcome back to some more FIFA 20 Everton career mode. Everton lost to Arsenal in real life yesterday, 3-2. But, oh man, it was an impressive performance, I have to say, at least offensively. We, we had maybe four clear-cut chances to equalize the game at 3-3, and we didn't take any of them. Dom should have had a hat-trick. Like, the goal that he scored was probably his most difficult chance out of the other chances that he had as well. It was like, the goal he scored was class, but he missed a couple of... Dece very decent chances I would class them as and Richarlison had a couple of chances as well on top of his goal but um, yeah we definitely should have equalized and I feel like we deserved a lot more than a loss in that game we had nearly double the amount of shots that Arsenal had and we had more on target as well we just overall I feel like played better than Arsenal and uh, we didn't get our just rewards for the performance just a couple of stupid defensive errors I think Sidibe and Mina were both absolutely shocking they were shockingly bad yesterday. Min has been good a lot of for large parts of the season, but yesterday he was not good at all, and they didn't seem to work together at all, Mina and Sidibe. Uh, and Sidibe, he's hot or cold, man. Some games he can be really, really good. He'll be on fire, and you'll be like, damn, we should definitely sign this man. And then there's another game where he just looks like awful defensively. Like defensively is usually where he's found out. Like offensively, he's pretty good from time to time, but yesterday he was really not good. And it kind of soured my taste on wanting to sign him fully in the summer. I don't know. But let's get into our own career mode. Let's shut up about everything in real life. Get into our own career mode. We have Brighton and Hove Albion at home next. And it is a must-win game. Especially with the goddamn way that the teams above me play. It's insane. Aston Villa have one point after seven games. And their goal difference is minus 16. See? And they're, they're not even last. <laughs> and then Liverpool and Spurs both... They're, they're tied at the top of the table. They're literally exactly tied. That's crazy. They've both won seven and uh, drawn zero, lost zero, and both scored 17 and conceded three. What the fuck? That's literally the exact same. And somehow as well, Wolves have won six and drawn one, and Manchester City are in fourth there, Chelsea in fifth. So there's four teams after seven games that are unbeaten. It just seems a little bit unrealistic that I've got four wins, one draw, and one loss, and I'm in sixth, and I'm fucking eight points behind the leaders. We do have a game in hand here, though, so we can close the gap to five points if we beat Burnley, or not Burnley, Brighton, which we should do. Now, let's jump straight on in. I'm going to stick with the formation that has been doing us well with the 4-1-2-1-2. John Stones, Keane... Clusterman, Pickford, Digne. It's a decent backline, for sure. And uh, I like it. I'm down with it. See, I could try and sign maybe a better centre-back than Keane. Um, like, so Keane could be on the bench and we maybe sell Zuma and have Holgate and Keane on the bench as centre-backs. And then maybe like Lindelof, like the, the guy I was trying to sign. You guys know who Lindelof is, but I was trying to sign him earlier in the season. How good was it to see that man Andre Gomez back on the pitch yesterday, though? On an otherwise disappointing night, Gomez was absolutely brilliant when he came on. He put the other three center mids to shame when he came on. And he was only on for like 20 minutes. He literally put them all to shame. Sigurdsson had an absolute shocker. And um, and uh, also Schneiderlin and Delph or Schneiderlin and Delph. So, you know, what can you really say there? But Gomez was world-class when he came on. Um, that's a little bit of exaggeration, but he was class when he Hello came on, is what I'm trying to say. You're watching, this is Goodison Park. He was world-class in comparison to the Jack others, Ray, that's for sure. All right, let's beat Brighton. This is a home game that we should win. Really look how good we look now, man. Back. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That Everton jacket there looking fire. All right, let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's our boy Kai Havertz, who's coming into his own now. He's starting to play well. He had a little bit of a slower start, but... Let's do this thing. Got new headphones as well, guys. What do you think? My old ones broke. Come on, cluster man. They're in the middle of the park. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Beautiful from Richarlison. Sensational! Back post, Calvert-Lewin is 1-0! It's, it's sloppy, but it doesn't matter. Calvert Lewin's put Everton into the lead here. Let's go. We've been on fire in this game, to be fair. In FIFA 20, while we're playing, we have been on fire. We've been doing really well. Well, let's 
see that again. I don't want to look at this. Look at that was beautiful from Richie. And Calvert Lewin could do nothing but score. I think it actually hit the post and then hit the keeper. Wait, let's see. Yep, hit the post and then hit the keeper and went in. Wow, is that going to be counted as an own goal? Or is Calvert Lewin going to get the goal? Well, that own goal has Ah, damn it. That sucks. Dom, Richie doesn't even get the assist for that. That's the most depressing thing. That was so good from Richie. Possession changes hands. The interception there. What is that? Big to get what is that, there. man? What no just happened? That was the biggest clusterfuck of a goal ever. What just happened, man? I'm so confused. That was trash. That was so trash. Like, wow. Look at this. First of all, I don't know how Clusterman didn't get it out. Then he just goes around and Pickford saves and it just comes back to this guy. And it basically hits off his foot and goes in. I don't think he even knew much about it, to be honest. But 10 minutes in, it's 1-1. Jesus Christ. To Fosse and clearing his lines. Beautiful. What a ball! The keeper comes though, no! Oh man, that would have been sick. That was an amazing ball from Clivert, to be fair. To find Calvert Lewin first time. They didn't find him, but. You know. Now in possession, Trossard. Leandro Trossard is a good player. I like him, man. I wonder what his potential rating Excellent is in this passing. game. I actually don't know. Crossing Leandro Trossard is a player, though. Crossed into the penalty area. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Lads, come on, get it out. Brighton are literally all over us this entire half since we scored in the first fucking five minutes. It's mental. Oh my god, Pickford's literally saving us here. Pickford is saving us. Come on, Everton. Our, first, our only shot was a goal. Wasn't even a shot on target, but it was our only shot, and it was a goal. And they've been completely dominant ever since. We need to change something up. I don't know what it is, but we need to just make a change or something. Because this ain't working, that's for sure. I'm bringing on Haland at halftime. If things don't change, we're going to change the formation or something like that. We're going to go attacking and see what happens. Let's have more action from delightful pass. March. He must finish. Yeah, they deserved it, to be fair. I don't know what the hell's going on, but they are well, just completely you, dominant right now. Completely top. dominant. Right, that's the change I'm going to make. I'm going to bring on Berg for Calvert-Lewin and Mount for... Uh, Clivert, and we're going to try this 4 2 2 2 formation and see if it can make a difference. Come on, Blues. Richarlison. Havertz. Beautiful! Oh, what a goal from Kai Havertz! That is sensational! To level it up here. That is beautiful. This was a class goal, to be fair. Wow. What a finish and everything. He dances his way through defense and buries it in the bottom corner. Look at this. Holland does well. He does well, but Havertz goes past two like they're not there. And has the goddamn presence of mind to smash it in to that bottom corner. And Havertz, what a signing he is turning out to be. What a goal. It's 2-2. Come on, we can win this thing now. We need to win this thing now. Let's go. Everton, Everton, Everton. Everton! His third goal in the Premier League, Kai Havertz. Look at Dinia. A highly purposeful attack, this. Beautiful. The emphasis on getting Beautiful. Beautiful, and Kai Havertz is in again, and he scores again! That is an unbelievable goal from back to front. That was just sick. And he's having a field day. That was one of my favorite goals this season. Just the entire build-up play was so good. Well, All the way here, the look. Right one, right two, and just a beautiful a pass from Holland again from to find Caver Havertz. Well, that is sensational play, lads. Angle. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And Havertz at the double. Let's go. Well, Alright, I think I'm going to change the defensive that. now, Got to be honest. Let's go, baby. Done, Let's freaking go, man. Kai Havertz is an is absolute in. beast. Havertz, the goddamn beast himself. All right, we're going to leave it. We, we can't make any subs, but what we're going to do is we're going to put Mount to the left, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. And Haaland will be up front by himself. All right, this is going to be good. Trust. Superb Beautiful. Beautiful. Andre Gomez. Andre Gomez, the beast himself. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's a disgraceful challenge. Send him off. Send him off, ref. Send him off. 
Well, Not even a yellow for that. Come on. Rebuke, I think, and the Should have been a yellow at least, surely. So like All right, Good that's referee. time waste for the last nice ten minutes, boys. Oh my God! I thought that was top bins. Well, no Alon very nearly made it four-two in the right, dying embers of the game. The that was close, man. Real close. I thought that was top corner. All right, that should be game. Blow the whistle, ref. Yes! And Come on! The final whistle. Let's go, baby. Come on. What a win that is. What a win that is, mate. 3-2. After being 2-1 down, we come back to win it. Same score as Everton had in real life, but... Um, luckily for us, the roles are reversed. Everton win 3-2, not lose 3-2. Kai Havertz has to be the man of the match, surely. He was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Holland and him seem to seem to link up really well. I can't believe that that's an own goal and not our goal. Like, come on. How did you not score that Calvert-Lewin straight up? <laughs> but it was this goal was my favorite one here. The whole build-up was just beautiful. What a pass there from Holland and what a finish. But this goal was nothing to be snuffed at either. Look at this one. Absolute beauty again from Holland and just goes past him and smashes it. Bottom corner. And Holland is well on his way to becoming a cult hero. He is the man of the match. We scored with all three shots on target. That's crazy. All right, so Slavia Praha versus Everton here. This is going to be the toughest match in our group probably, but we still should be able to win it. We have West Ham three days later, so we're obviously going to have to rest and change players 100%. Uh, youth squad monthly report. Okay. All right. This is the team we're going to go with. We're going to switch it to a 4 one 2 one 2 again, though, because uh, we have Mason Mount and Berge. That's going to be fine. And uh, we'll go with that team for today. We'll see how that goes. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. European football in Goodison Park on a Thursday night. Let's be having you. You love to see it. Three midgets in a row there. Mason Mount, Bernard, and Daniel James. But then you got the beast, Sander Berg, beside them. Mason Holgate, Kurt Zuma, John Joe Kenny. And Virginia in goal. And then leading us out is a Captain Lucas Digne. Let's be having you, boys. Beautiful! Oh, it was nearly beautiful, at least. Damn it, it was just kind of a tiny bit too soft, but that would have been sick. A little back heel from the Charleston. Oh, good save from Virginia. Good save from Lil Virginia. Lil Virginia. Daniel James is so fast. It's a cross towards the near post. Oh, I should have put, cut it back to Mason Mount. He was open in the box by himself. I should have cut it back to him. The speed of Bernard. Oh my God, a little Bernard. Twenty-four minutes played, one nil. Thanks very much. That is beautiful. Luca Dean sprinting down this left-hand side. That sensational play this is. Oh, wonderful play to win that corner overall. We're playing some beautiful stuff at the moment, guys. We really are. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Come on. It's your moment, Alan. Oh, what a challenge that is. That's an unbelievable tackle, to be fair. Like, I was pretty much through there on goal, and he does an amazing slide tackle out of nowhere. Not so. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Real danger. No! Right before half time, they score. Slavia Praha. Damn it. No one else is celebrating but the guy that scored. What the hell's that about? Yeah, that was a good goal. Right before half time as well. That's not good, man. Go! Defenders need to cover. Richarlison. Richarlison! Oh! My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper has God, the pass, if the pass just had a little yeah, bit more on it, it would have been Brilliant ideal. Effort. Ideal, man. Damn it. Richarlison. Beautiful from Richarlison! Alon! Yes! No, he's offside. Damn it. In the opinion of the officials. Damn it. All right, we're going to make some changes. Might change the formation as well. I might go to the 4 2 2 again. I'm going to bring on Calvert-Lewin for now and see how that goes. And actually, I'm going to bring on... Yeah, I'm going to make a double change. I'm going to bring on Havertz as well, because Havertz, you know, he can make an impact. He scored two in his last game. Let's see if he can do it again here. Do something again here. Come on, Blues. We need this win. We need to draw, at least. I want to win the group. 
Flavia Praha are pretty good. Two one. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And Richarlison's in. He has to score, and he does. And he does. It's onside. Richarlison levels it. Come on. Just made the change and everything, and it's uh, beautifully worked. Beautifully worked from the boys. Might as well go for the winner now, lads. They were playing shocking out from the back. I put Bernard into that little defensive role, center defending mid, and he came up with an assist out of it. Richarlison gets the goal. We put him up front. I trust Richie up front, you know. You know that. So 20 minutes to go. Go on, Mason. Havertz is in. Can he score again? Yo! There's no way! Kai, how did you do this to me? Oh! Has to score that. Has to score that. No way. No fucking way, man. What a finish that was, but seriously, it shouldn't have even been well, in this position. This Mason here, what the hell is Digne doing like? Oh, no, man. We worked so hard to get back into it. And... Damn it. That was top ins. I don't think any keeper would have saved that, even if Virginia wasn't in goals. There's nothing he could have done about the two goals tonight. He hasn't had a shocking performance or anything. There's nothing he could have done. Beautiful! Go! Oh, Richie! Yes! He's at the double! Richarlison! Come on! Can we get the winner? Possibly? Should we go for it? Or should we just take the draw? But Richarlison is on the point here. Beautiful pass from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And Richie buries it into the corner. I will make that substitution. Dowell coming on for the last couple of minutes. Can he make a difference? Let's find out. Go, go on. Go on, this could be the moment. No, I was trying to pass it to Dowell. We have one more chance though. Corner ball here. Oh, lads, that could have been it. That would have been sick, imagine. It's with muscle boost. Suchek. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking Fuck away. off, ref. That's a joke. A that's game over, probably. Unless given. they can make something happen here with this. Which I hope that they cannot. And they cannot. That's game. 2-2. Two, two, not the end of the world. We saved ourselves from a losing position on two separate occasions. So Could have yeah, been better, but uh, we'll take it. Uh, plus, After beating like Brighton it's just a couple start, of days earlier, but it's not the really end of the world. Position to progress now to the knockout stages. Still a bit of work to be done, though. Slavia Praha. And we're playing West Ham, who are just behind us. They will go above us if they beat us. They won't, actually. They'll still be behind us on goal difference. But it would be nice to win and get ourselves into the top four, possibly. If the teams ahead of us drop points. There's no way we can get into the top four, actually. Not even a chance. That's crazy. I, I would expect to be in fourth place after winning five, drawing one, and losing one. Like, 16 points after seven games, and I'm not even in the goddamn top four. God damn. This league is competitive. That's where we're going to end this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back with more FIFA 20 in the near future. Thank you all. I appreciate it. And uh, keep dropping the likes and showing the support. And I'll see you guys for another one very soon. It's been my pleasure to serve you. Peace out. All right. So I just wanted to take a minute at the end of each video to thank my beautiful members. Thank you all for supporting me. It really does mean a lot. So coming in at the Wolf level, which is the top level, the 999 tier, is UG Outlaw, Sylvan Jamies, Anthony Roberts, and Casey Wood. You are all rock stars. And coming in at the Hound level, Game Riot, Tiago, Daxman, Pico, Leanne, Brent Clapper, Rocky, uh, Maximus, Hay, and Pani Ka. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I apologize. But and then that that's the 499 level. Coming in at the puppy level, which is the 199 level, we got Rob, and we got Robot Challenges, we got Chris Eric, we got Jan ba or John, sorry, John Baron, Doc D, and Jack MDG, my boy Jack. So thank you all for the massive support. It really does mean a lot and uh hopefully you guys enjoy the content peace out it's been my pleasure to serve you